hey and welcome back to dying light 2 today i actually got a huge surprise uh because a few months back the official dying light 2 twitter account sent me a dm on twitter and asked me if i if they could use some of my in-game screenshots in a upcoming uh something something community based and uh, today they tweeted out that they released a the official a community calendar for 2023 and I went to the, the website and downloaded it and Jesus Christ there I am on the November page which is kind of awesome uh, so I'm going to show you guys where to get this today we're going to go through all the months so you can see it for yourself uh, and all you have to do is to go to the techlandgg.com uh, website I'll link it down in the description I'm here right now as you can see and if you go if you start for example on use you only have to do is go to home and it will be up here and of course there are plenty of sections here that you can click on but the one you want to click on is this all you have to do is to click download you will download the file instantly and you can extract it to any area on your pc whatever you want and when you've downloaded it you will get a lot of pictures and we're going to take a look at it right now so this is the front page of the calendar uh i guess you can print this out and have it on your wall and and you can add in some some stuff on specific dates etc etc um and the front page here is made by you hero which looks really really cool we're going to take a look at the the first month uh or this is the overview actually so we have january february march april may etc etc all the way to december and as you can see here november that's me. That's kind of cool. So we're gonna go through all of the images. And it says, Dear Survivor, living in the city may not be easy, but we hope 2023 will bring you nothing other than happiness and joy. Surely you will overcome any obstacle and fulfill your dreams in the upcoming year. Thanks to our awesome com community members who managed to capture the moments of dying light to stay human in a single frame, 2022 will go down as another unforgettable part of Techland's history. We wish you the best from Techland. So this is the community calendar for 2023 and some few dates in here that's interesting uh and it's also over here calendar legend uh, march massacre dying light to stay human events dying light release techland anniversaries st patrick's day common events so we're gonna go through all of the specific months first of all is the Jan january made by Egghan, and as you can see have really cool images i've seen this on twitter this is one of my favorite ones i've seen so far and we have New Year's Eve, which is right there. We are done with that, of course. And then we have Dying Light release anniversary on the 27th. Quite interesting. Let's go to February. Uh, this is made by Mr. or drawn by Mr. It's also the, the Twitter tag down here. Um, I can't really read. It's a bit blurry here, it seems. But I have a full resolution here. But I guess when you print it out, it's going to look better. Dying Light to Stay Humid release anniversary on the 4th. Uh, we have uh, Dying Light the following release anniversary on the 9th. So that's February. We're gonna to go to March. Quite quite cool pictures here from uh, Outrokev. Um, we have the March massacre on the sixth. We have St. Patrick's Day on the seventeenth. First session in the Council of Mankind on the twenty-first. So like these drawings here, really cool. Uh, next one is Page. That's in April. We have first of April is April Fool's Day, and then we have ninth, which is Easter. I guess they will have some events uh, back then. I've also seen this image on Twitter. Really cool. Well done, Page. And we have May. Uh, these images has been taken by, or these screenshots has been taken by Chris K. You can see the the tag right there. You can go and follow these people if you want. They are quite active and and post a lot of images from Dying Light. So am I sometimes. Uh, here we have the formation of the Peacekeepers on the seventh. We have Mother's Day on the fourteenth. Twenty first is the Call of Juris, I think. Something something release anniversary and then we have Dying Light to uh, Dying to Know premiere anniversary on the 27th. Quite interesting. Then we have June. Uh, these are from You Hero. This is uh, the screenshots. We have the 14th Mass Exodus uh, Exodus and then we have Father's Day on 18th. We have Call of Jura something down here. Uh, this is Dying Light to relate to. So I'm just not gonna care about that. <laughs> Quite cool hand right there drawing. Then we have July made by a dot. Uh, nothing on the calendar here, but you can fill in like your family's birthday, your friend's birthdays, something happening. Just print it out and have it on the wall. Quite cool. I love this image right down here. It's really quite brutal. Well done, A dot. 
Now we have August. Nothing in August actually, but maybe something will pop up in uh, on their Twitter. We don't know. This is by Photography Gamer. Love these images. Well done. Then we have September from Gamer Mom 1969. Uh, nothing on the calendar, but the screenshots are really cool. I like the drawing right there. Then we have October. Then we have how many spiders, uh, the screenshots from, from this guy. Then we have All Hallows Eve on the, the 31st. And I love this, this image down here, really cool. Then we have My Month. Look at that, Kings Gaming. I took these screenshots and this is the one they asked to borrow for this cal calendar that I didn't know uh, before today. That's why I'm making this video. Then we have on the 10th, we have Bloody Ties release anniversary. And then we have 23rd, which is Thanksgiving. So look at this, this is amazing. Everyone can download it, so you can also see my tag right there on Twitter. This is so cool, I love it. Uh, and the cool thing is, my birthday is actually in November. I don't think they knew that it's on the 15th. So I'm gonna write in my birthday there when I print this out. So that's kind of a coincidence, I guess. Then we have December, made by I Stefano. And then we have the 8th, Call of uh, Juarez release anniversary. And we have 24, which is Christmas Eve, and the 31st, which is New Year's Eve. Then it ends with a... I kind of like this actually, kind of drawing and the Teclan um, logo right there and of course all rights reserved. So that's the thing you can download now for free on TeclanGG.com. I will link it down in the, in the descriptions and I would love to thank Teclan for including me in the official um, community calendar for 2023. Thank you so much Teclan and I really really appreciate it. Right there. I'm kind of proud, but anyway, you can go down there or, or go to that website and download this calendar for yourself. But anyway, that was the video for today. If you want more Dying Light content on this channel, tell me in the comments down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs down if you didn't. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take care now and good. Bye.